Hello, good morning, welcome to everybody uh, to my channel Easy English Explanation and my live class also. So, very good morning once again. Today, we are going to start and uh, follow one more grammar topic which is equally interesting and you, we will be learning and revising two, three figures of speech as well as uh, my period and time duration is concerned. We will go according to that. So, let's start. First one I would like to do, I will take some easy figures of speech first of all, onomatopoeia, see, onomatopoeia, as the name is there, it's not at all difficult, it's very very easy, how is it pronounced, onomatopoeia, last name will not be a whole A, oh Priya, are you here, we will have a very soft sound at the end, onomatopoeia, like that. Okay, what does that mean? It means sound. Simply you have to remember that word sound. Sound means the word is made up of sound. Okay, ornament of your figure of speech is the sound produced by any uh, animal's voice or any human being, any water, any natural body object, any noise created by any person or any animal insect or anything. For example, I will give some examples first, then you will know it easily. So if we learn different definitions, it will be maybe difficult to just mug up the definitions. But if you see the examples, it will be very easy. Whenever we see very nice thing, what comes from our mouth? Wow. 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 Okay. Then if we just water, if we just put the water, uh, our hands in water like this, then water will be splash, splash. Then, <coughs> hey, yeah, and very commonly used nowadays in words of ouch, something like that, ouch. Then, Hi. Uh, wait, let me write it, hmm, like, we produce sound, hmm, whenever we agree to somebody's point like this and so oh. then pop the popping sound okay. these are all the figures uh, all examples of onomatopoeia okay you can also add some more to it slush or mew the sound produced by cat a dog in box cries bark cry hmm? tick tock like the sound of moving a watch this of a watch tick tock then like the snake hiss Will be like this. So how do we write it as? Yes. Okay. Are you getting it? It's so very easy. It's the sound produced by the animal. So what will be the definition? Because of the sound produced, sound produced is made the word. Resembles to that object or person means sound produced by any object or any person. Okay, you can add some more example and can give some place blank. As in when we remember, we will be putting on adding on to that examples. So let's start with one more. Here uh, we can take oxymoron. Oxymoron. And these figures of speech are equally important. Only we can move in more depth as and when we move into the further higher standards but you have to definitely remember that so it's better you pay attention here only we will learn in more detail otherwise figures of speech will remain the same of the classes oxymoron it is made up of two words oxy and moron oxy means very very sharp and moron means dull sharp dull what does that mean sharp Dull. Sharp dull means they are both very very just opposite words to 
each other, isn't it? Sharp dull, oxymoron. So, I'll give you here some examples. You'll easily remember. This oxy means sharp and moron means dull. So, let me give you some examples. Then you will be well acquainted with it. So, an example. A wise, wise fool. Wise fool. That fool is also very wise. He is having, he is the wisest of all the fools, right? His number is first even in fools, we want to say that. Original copy. Original copy. Now see, what is the meaning of copy? Same. Copy means the, the, the next Give copy, the next name. repeat. It is the repetition. And what is the meaning of original? The first one. Yeah. One and only. The so both words are totally contrasting to each other. They are totally different to each other. But we they, you say sometimes one some gives that original copy. Submit that original copy to me. So original copy is a form of oxymoron figure of speech. And let me repeat again that why do we need figure of speech? Mm, in Hindi, Gujarati, have you gone through the word alanka? Yes. But that's the same. Here in figures of speech. They um, put that bhasha into alankar. They decorate, add on that language. They increase the beauty of the language. They make the listening as well as speaking more effective. Okay. If we simply say, it will not create that much of effect. If we say in this form, it will have good effect on the listener as well. Okay, original sound, deafening silence, deafening silence. Here, right now in the class, there is deafening silence. The silence means silence. Silence means silence. <laughs> silence means total peace. Okay, it's just the no sound. with no sound. Right. And deafening, deafening means sound is so much that it would make our ears deaf. deaf. We will get deaf. Okay. So silence and deafening are just both two very very contrasting words. Just the opposites we can say. But here the silence is so much that we use the word oxymoron deafening silence. The silence is deafening to my ears. Sometimes, okay, when you were not there in the school, uh, in the past year, right, because of that COVID situation, so the silence was deafening. The silence was there, but we didn't like that silence. We like your voice, but little bit, not too much, okay? Without so students, the school is nothing. It's the students are the heart of the school. So the silence that time was deafening to our ears. That is the negative silence was there. Then we had more. Then uh, bitter sorrow or sweet sorrow. Bitter sorrow. Or sweet sorrow. How can a sorrow be sweet? How will the right Sorrow. Sorrow means? Huh? So it means sad or because of any pain or any problem. We are in sorrow. And sweet. Sweet is a considered to be a good thing. Okay? Positive. Sorrow. Sweet sorrow. Original copy. Then uh, living dead. Growing smaller. Living dead. Dead and living. These are two contradictory words. Then uh, some more. Growing smaller. Growing smaller. The moon was growing smaller. In some poetry, we see these words that growing, growing smaller. Smaller and growing. They both are contradictory opposite words. Right? To grow means to increase in mass and volume. But to become small means decrease. So growing smaller. But in poetry it still be used. The moon was growing smaller to increase the musical effect of the poem. Can you also try some more in this? Ha. Small crowd. See. See, what does the word crowd mean? A big good gathering of people, right? Too many people. Crowd, it's a crowd here. But 
write small, small crowd. That is very very less crowd. How can the crowd be very less? So this is the way of speaking in oxymoron. Then uh, you want me to give some more examples? Then you can also try. Yes. Try some examples. Or you want to next? We are having now. Okay. Uh, yes, I remember. Old news. See, news is also made up of word new as well as any ws that you know, north east by south. So new and old. This is an old news. I've already heard it. Right. So what does that mean? Now here new and old are two contradictory words. Have you got this oxymoron figures yeah, of speech? Yeah. That's why I've used some figures of speech will be very uh, easy and useful to you as well. So I've started from that kind of figures of speech. So please note down whatever is written on the board and we will start with one more figure of speech. Now let me try yes, alliteration. Alliteration. Here are some more examples of onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Some more examples you wish to give. Alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of sounds. Alliteration is a kind of repetition of two or more. Repetition of uh, sounds or vowels or consonants means the first word is repeated. Repetition of words two or more in a sentence.
But let us remain up to here. Let's try some more examples. So we have to try as I go in. for 
5000 times बार बार ट्राई किया पर फिर भी अच्छी नहीं बनती लाइक दैट आई कैन से आई ट्राई प्रिपेयरिंग दिस वैरायटी ऑफ दिस डेलिकेसी और दिस फिश ए थाउजेंड टाइम्स बट रियली वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू ट्राई अप टू थाउजेंड टाइम्स सो दिस इज द हाइपरबोलिक फिगर ऑफ पी वुड यू लाइक टू ट्राई टू डू सम मोर एग्जांपल्स Okay, I'll give you one more example. I am so tired that I could sleep for a year, but I am not Kumkar and who used to sleep for six months. I was so tired. यहाँ पे मैं कहना ही चाहती हूँ कि मैं इतनी tired हूँ कि मैं साल तक सो सकती हूँ. But if somebody allows me, can I really sleep for one year at a stretch? I cannot, obviously. I was so tired that I could sleep for a year. For a month, even that we cannot sleep at a stretch. Then, yes, who would like to try? Exaggerate your thing. Yes. He is so heavy that he looks like an elephant. Right? How much heavy is he? Will not look like an elephant, of course. He is as heavy as elephant. He is as fast as cheetah. Hmm. Very good. He is as heavy as an elephant. She prepare cookies as hard as rock. I had to break it with hammer. Hard to me till I make, but I hammer like that. How much money is there? Then he is so 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 like that. Hmm. Fast as he can do. And this is also a kind of simile. No, no, simile. He is like an ass for doing the comparisons. It's also simile to the rose speech. Okay, have you got this? Yes. Okay, are you sure? Have you understood? Yes. Yeah. Which tense have you understood is? Yes. 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 Yes.